You know that really popular gif of Joker where he's like, and here we go again. Here we go again with Switch Pro. What's going on guys and girls? It's Zagram Switch for us and you've probably seen that Switch Pro is trending again, again, again. This time it comes from a big leak and we gotta talk about it. I mean, like you, I'm a little bit sick of it. Like we wanna hear the Switch Pro from the mouths of Nintendo, not just popping up every time anyone finds anything for Nintendo. But at the same time, when you hear what's happening today, maybe it'll make you think, okay? Because this is not a rumor from a reporter. This is a leak from a company that develops and works with Nintendo on the Switch hardware. So if you're going to say one is more legit, this one might be the one that's more legit. So let me break it down for you. You guys can give me your take in the comments down below. You sick of Switch Pro? You ready for it to just be a thing? You just wanna forget about it? Here we go. Nvidia got hit with a cyber attack, all right? This group decided they were gonna leak a bunch of private information in hopes of ransoming money from Nvidia. Bad, not good. This is not like, ooh, someone found this data mine. No, this is, this is bad. But within those files, some very interesting things were found and we now have even more details than we had earlier today. We saw that there was an NVN DLSS driver and to set this up for you, NVIDIA's NVN API is the software tool that the Switch uses to work on the graphics and all that good stuff. So NVN DLSS would be DLSS on Nintendo's API, presumably for another new Switch, and DLSS is that cool technology that allows them to super sample and make things run and look better than they really should. That's the quick and dirty version of it. But now we know there's also an NVN2 folder that has been uncovered. And I mean, just put two and NVN together and you get Nintendo Switch 2. If the NVN is the API for Nintendo Switch, what is NVN2? It's gotta be the next, the more powerful, a bigger, better Switch, Switch Pro. All right, now there's some really interesting stuff going on in here, all right? Because the NVN2 files are from 2019. That means that this has been in the works for three years. Now we've heard President Furukawa say that, hey, Switch is in the middle of its life cycle. We've heard talks of a decade of Switch. So Switch 2 shouldn't be for a while now. So why is this being called NVN2? Well, that's why Switch Pro is trending because people believe that this is the Switch Pro. All right, and they believe that this is probably a delayed Switch Pro, that these files are from a system that was supposed to already come out. And now if you go in the way, way back machine, you see Bloomberg's reports, you see everything we talked about in 2021, where we were surprised that the OLED wasn't 4K and that the OLED wasn't Pro. And people said that because of the fact that there are so many import problems, so many production problems, so many shipping problems, everything slowed to a crawl with the pandemic, not to mention the chip shortage globally, that, hey, they just couldn't make a more powerful switch happen. So it would have been in the works in 2019 for sure. And all of the things we heard rumored, everything they talked about, about a little bit more powerful, a little bit better graphics. We heard lots of rumors about DLSS being included to make the Switch purr, even if it didn't have perfect hardware. And we know that DLSS cannot work on the current Switch hardware. It just can't, it will not do it. So it would have to be new hardware. So for seeing NVN DLSS drivers that must be for a new system that maybe now can happen. And on top of that, something else that is being said is that the fact that they have the DLSS driver for NVN and the fact that they have the folder for NVN2 suggests that this is far along in development. Not something that's just theoretical, not something that they're just working towards, but something that is almost ready or could have been ready or is ready. And that is exciting, right? I guess this could also be another switch, like a different one, like another just kind of iteration, like the OLED. We've seen Nintendo every two years drop something fun for us to buy. 2017 had the original Switch, 2019 with the Switch Lite, 2021 with the OLED, 2023 with maybe this thing. I thought about like a Switch Lite OLED, maybe just a more premium Switch, but it really seems everyone like this is the Switch Pro. Now, I think there is a sliver of a chance that it gets announced this year. I think most likely this is a 2023 thing. And that's what all the people that are perusing over the files and this leak are saying. And again, let me iterate, this is a leak, not a rumor. So this isn't coming from a reporter being like, I heard that this developer is making a 4K Switch game. This is like, no, this is straight from the source, like literally source code. It's there. 
And Nvidia has had a lot of bad leaks lately. The big Nvidia GeForce Experience game list. So much of that stuff has come true. We've talked about it a lot on the channel. You see a bunch of games that were like, nah, that won't happen. Boom, it happened. Nah, that won't happen. Boom, it happened. So it seems like these Nvidia leaks end up leading to real things being released. And hey, I mean, there is this thought that the end of the year lineup for Switch is so darn strong. Would Nintendo dare do two years of hardware in a row? Would they dare decide to drop that awaited, anticipated, please just freaking say it, Switch Pro, soon? Sooner than we expect? I mean, I think everything points to 2023, just doing it again. And if Nintendo really wants to extend the life cycle of Switch 1 to be 10 years, then yeah, they need iterative steps to keep people engaged, interested, and to boost the power. This is gonna be needed at some point. So for all the like, ah, Switch Pro, like eventually, we want this. We just don't want to deal with the hullabaloo of like, is it, is it not, is it, is it not? Oh wait, everything was wrong. But it feels like we now have pieced together almost the entire national treasure puzzle. And we see that Nintendo was working most likely on this Switch Pro with an NVN2, with NVN DLSS, and they were gonna release it with the OLED screen in 2021. And then everything happened and they weren't able to. So they said, well, we've planned this, we've prepped this. Let's just drop a Switch OLED. We can kind of audible and deliver a system that's still an upgrade, but not the entire upgrade. And maybe they're keeping this in the wings, in the work, so that when they're ready, they can have the chips amassed and deliver a full product launch with full shells and a full, finally, doggone it, Switch Pro. So what are the big takeaways from this video? Number one, Nvidia is working on new Nintendo hardware. They've been working since 2019 on something newer, more up to date, stronger, more powerful for Nintendo. That is clear from this leak. That's not a rumor. Number two, it involves DLSS if these files are to be believed. And that would line up with the rumors that Nintendo is pursuing a new type of technology to snazzify their graphics without needing top tier hardware. And number three, a new Switch is coming. I mean, that is always true. You should never doubt that. Nintendo is always working on the next piece of hardware, but you combine this leak with the reports and you have a more clear picture, add in the timeline, make a bunch of caveats for the pandemic, and you see a scenario where Nintendo could be getting ready once again to rev the cycle of another new piece of hardware. And if you ask me, I think this is an upgraded Switch from the Switch 1 line. I do not think this is Nintendo Switch 2 or the sequel to Switch or the next generation. This would be equivalent to the PlayStation 4 Pro or a new series for Xbox. It would be a better performing Switch that still plays all your games. It just has a little bit of extra buzz under the hood. And hey, that's exciting. I mean, anything new for Nintendo gets me hyped and especially new hardware, more powerful, but this has happened many a time now. So hopefully, hopefully Nintendo speaks next. You got their summer showcase coming out in June, the next direct, the next major direct. Who knows? We do have some investor calls on the horizon, shareholder meetings. Will we hear rumblings? Probably not. Remember, Nintendo is tight-lipped as possible until the time it's ready to go. And if I had to predict right now, I would say sometime in 2023. They could like do a March thing like they did with the original Switch. They could do a September, October thing like they did with Light or OLED. But every two years, they've done Switch hardware. So hey, you just, you just look at the pattern. It just adds up. And now you got leaks, you got rumors, and you got files themselves that freaking say the thing. So what do you think? Are you sick of it? Does this turn the corner for you? What's next? Give me your take in the comments down below, everybody. Hit that like button if you enjoyed the video. Hope you're all having a wonderful, fantastic day. And until next time, thanks again for watching. Stay safe, stay healthy, stay happy, stay positive out there. Switch Force, out.